to Rome now. The world now knows the new pope is from Argentina, but what's emerging today is just how close a Canadian cardinal may have come to getting the top job. No one knows for certain what went on behind the locked doors of the Sistine Chapel, but Italian newspapers have lots of theories, including what happened with Mark Ouellette from Quebec. Paul Johnson is in Rome tonight with the details. Paul? Donna, it's a really intriguing story that's been trickling out over the past 24 hours here in Rome. A number of Italian media outlets, based on information from their sources, have put together a timeline of what they think happened during the two-day papal conclave. If they are accurate, then we came very close to having a Canadian pope. Cardinal Mark Ouellette, who grew up in Quebec, was considered by most to be a top five contender heading into the conclave. According to these reports, he was neck and neck with an Italian cardinal to win in the first round. It was then between him and Jorge Bergoglio of Argentina until Willette folded and threw his support behind Bergoglio, who is now Pope Francis. If this is true, it would make Willette somewhat of a kingmaker and probably put him in line for an important job under Pope Francis. Some observers think he could become the Vatican's next Secretary of State. So we've got the Italian media saying that a Canadian played a major role in the election of Pope Francis. We may never be able to confirm this, though. As you know, this is one of history's most secretive rituals. The ballots are actually burned. That's the signal for knowing that a pope has been elected. I put through a call to Mark Ouellette's office tonight. We haven't heard anything back, and I don't expect that we will. No, Donna? I th think you're right about that. Paul Johnson in Rome, thank you.